I was hating life until I discovered local honey, honey pellets, honey spray, and Flonase. Without Flonase, I would be I would be absolutely fucked. So if you go to that Afrin, that one right there. If you don't know who Tank Sinatra is, he's awesome. He's a he's a meme god. He's uh, he's also got Tank's good news I can't on Instagram. I even believe it's legal and they sell it over the counter. I am addicted to Afrin. I have been congested for a year. Nobody should be using Afrin, period, hands down. There's a chemical in it, oxymestolazolazine, that binds itself to the receptors in your nose and inflames the nasal lining. Even when you're not congested from having a cold, your nose is literally swollen shut and you can't breathe without the Afrin. The ENT that I went two goes i can't even believe it's legal and they sell it over the counter i am addicted to afrin i so that's crazy so i have the same problem i've had the same problem i solved it once and then i had to go back to the dark side i this was i saw that yesterday this is in was in my truck afrin no drip i have these everywhere in my bathroom, on my nightstand, in my office, in my kitchen, in my truck, in my backpack, in my go bag, in my survival satchel. I have one of these everywhere because literally when your nose starts to close up, the sinus headache and the overall feeling of just inescapable claustrophobia is like nothing I can even explain. Yeah, the anxiety that comes with it too, it's right? It's horrible. It's so uh, you've probably done this, had a few too many beers, right? You're snoring, so your mouth's open. You wake up, right, and your mouth's real, real dry. Or that'll wake you up, or you get a sore throat from that. Have you ever had that? Not too probably bad? Probably not too bad. Well, I, do, I drink so much water, dude. It's a problem. On that note, you hold it down. I gotta, I'll gotta. i be right back. The problem in this Afrin, and the way it's been explained to me, and then I'll explain how I was able to get through it, and then what I'm going to do here, and I'll report back to you guys about how I'm going to solve this for myself long-term and forever. This chemical that's in this, and it's just uh, a 0.05% active ingredient, but it's in Afrin, it's in some of the Vicks, it's in Sinex, it's in your private label. So depending on where you shop, Safeway, Minyard, Tom Thumb, Kroger, Piggly Wiggly, they might have like a private label in the in their health and wellness or in the pharmacy section. You have to look to see if there's the active ingredient, and he kind of butchered the name, and I'm going to do that as well. Oxymetazoline, oxymetazoline hydrochloride, 0.05%. That is the active ingredient. So what it does, you are completely congested from seasonal allergies, or maybe you just have a cold. You cannot breathe through your nose. You know how much that sucks. You can still breathe through your mouth, but then everything just starts to close up. You might get a bad sinus headache because your ears, nose, and throat are all connected. He mentioned going to talk to an ENT. That's an ear, nose, throat doctor. An ear, nose, throat doctor is going to help you with anything from hearing problems to sinus issues. They are going to help you with if you have to tonsil problems. A lot of people are com commented on this reel he put up and said they went to their ENT and that ENT told them to have their tonsils removed and then another thing called the adrenoids, I believe. I'm probably butchering that. I'm not an anatomy expert, nor am I a medical doctor. But what I do know is this is a major problem for me. I've broken my nose numerous times playing the great sport of rugby and fighting and doing other stuff that dumb dudes do. But then I also have bad allergies. I started to, after I spent that time down in the hill country working on that project, at night, me and my crew, we would make a campfire with... Uh, firewood, which was mountain cedar. So I had no idea you breathe smoke. That's not great for your sinuses either, but it was like that mountain cedar that just set everything off. So since early 2017, so that's six years now I've been battling this on and off. Getting off of this is not as easy as you might think. 